I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for participating actively and sharing good questions from all over the world. Here is a brilliant question from one of our subscribers, Mayhem. We'll see how to solve this question based on probability. The question here is, a coin is tossed eight times. What is the probability of getting at most one head, at least two heads, exactly two heads? A very important question indeed. So we'll assume a few things here. So our assumption here is that we have a fair coin, right? So we have a fair coin. So that means the probability of getting a head is half and probability of not head which is tail in this case, right, will also be half. We also realize that every event is independent event. Right? So that means that the probability will not change. It will remain the same for every toss. Perfect. So with these assumptions, we'll move forward. Now some of you uh, will also recall that this kind of probability is also referred to as a binomial distribution. So we'll consider the concepts of binomial distribution to answer this particular question, right? Now we're talking about at most one head, at least two heads, exactly two heads. So we'll define our event as uh, the event will be uh, where uh, the chances of getting heads, right? So to get head. So the failure will be tails, but the success of an event is number of heads. So if we have eight times toss, then the number of heads could be one to eight, including zero, zero to eight. So there are nine possibilities, correct? Now, to answer these set of questions, let us uh, begin by finding probability of uh, x equals to zero. That means no head. in eight tosses, right? So that means no head means all the time when you toss, you get a tail, right? So we could write this as NC0. Now let me write the formula here. When we're talking about the probability, then the probability can be written as NCX. Success, let it be P then the probability of p is whatever times x times q to the power of n minus x. So that will be the general formula which will be used to solve this particular question. So when I am saying no heads and we are saying no heads and we have eight trials. So we'll make this as eight. So there are eight trials, no heads. Probability of getting head is half. So we'll half and we get no head. And every time we get a failure, failure will be tail and that will be eight times. So that is the probability of no heads. Perfect. Let's find the probability when our random variable x is equal to one. That means eight trials and we have one head, right? So in that case, it'll be 8C1, half, probability of head, and this is half, probability of tail will be 8 minus 1, which is 7. 
let's also see what is the probability of getting two heads so eight trials two heads so out of eight we have two heads they could be in any position right that is what we mean when we multiply by eight c2 so in eight trials we could have head first second third fourth or any different position right so those combinations correct and the probability of getting head is half it comes twice and rest of the time we get tail correct so in a way what you see from here very clearly that these probabilities are 8c0 uh, okay let's write um, 8c0 is 1 right so, so we can write this as um, half to the power of 8 right that is 1 so we get half to the power of 8 now in this case what we get is 8c1 is 8 times right half to the power of 8 again and 8c2 will be 56 divided by 2 which is 28 half to the power of 8 again right so those are the probabilities for exactly no head one head or two heads when you're throwing or tossing the coin eight times a fair coin is being taken now let us answer the question part a part a is at most one head so when you say so probability of getting at most one at most one head i'm mixing the nomenclature since uh, i exactly don't know how much are you familiar with binomial distribution so i'm trying to keep it simple right so i'm writing it in uh, plain english so at most one head means what either you get zero heads or you get one head so that means zero or one right so it is it is the probability when the value of x is zero right or x is equal to one so at most one correct so that means we'll add the first two right so no heads and the probability of getting one head so we're going to add the first two so what we get here is uh, half to the power of eight plus eight times half to the power of eight is that clear so that is going to be the answer of part a right so that is nine eight plus one is nine and eight is half to the power of eight is 256 so we get nine over 256 is that clear right so that will be our answer you could use your calculator also so basically we have uh, uh, you can say 0. 0.5 to the power of 8 half is 0. 0.5 which is 1 over 256 and 1 plus 8 is 9 right so times 9 so we get 9 over 256 as answer for first part now let's look into part b part b is at least two heads at least two heads means you get two three four five six and so on so that means we are looking for one minus probability of getting what we'll now look into probability of getting tails right so so when you say at least two heads that means we are not considering the case where we have zero heads or we have one head correct so probability of uh, so let me write minus probability of getting no heads when x equals to zero minus probability when x is equal to one correct so those probabilities we have to take away to get part b at least two heads so we get either two heads or three heads four heads five six seven or eight heads correct but we will exclude the probability of getting one head and no heads so we'll exclude this part correct so this could be written as 
1 minus, we already find this, which is 9 over 256. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the probability of getting at least two heads. So 1 minus this probability. And uh, we can use the calculator once again and figure this out. Or 256 minus 9 over 256, correct? So 256 minus 9 divided by 256. So we get this answer as 247 over 256. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now part C is exactly two heads. So when we are looking for probability of exactly two heads means that option, correct? So probability for the value of heads weighing two is 8C2 half to the power of 2 and half to the power of 6, right? So, which is 28 times 1 over 8, 1 over 2 to the power of 8, which is 28 over 256. Correct? So, you could simplify this. We can divide by 4. So, we get 7 over uh, dividing by 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 64 right so we get 7 over 64 as our answer so for these three events the answers will be 7 over 64 for the last one the second last one is 247 over 256 and the first one is 9 over 256 perfect so i hope you understand and with this you also understand the terms at most one head means Basically, we are looking for zero or one head, right? At least two heads means two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. And exactly two means just two, right? So those are the cases which we worked for. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. Now, uh, this was simpler. Now, uh, I'll provide you a link in which we'll talk about biased coin. So for that, look into my link, which I'm attaching here. And I hope that will help you to understand the situation. And this was easier since we have just half and half. Even if you interchange, it doesn't really matter much. But if you have a biased coin, then it matters a lot. So have a look at the similar case when we are working with a biased coin. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.